hi you are welcome to my channel this wonderful channel provides you with stunning elegant creative and educative ideas based on computer techniques if you've not yet subscribed to my channel consider to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss new uploads so let's start our tutorials for today hi viewers you are welcome to another tutorials in these tutorials we are going to look at the clipboard group in microsoft word and now i have my microsoft word open and this is a starting page or the home page of microsoft word and we are going to start with a blank document so i'm going to have a once click on blank document Now this is the interface or the front stage view of Microsoft Word uh, window and in these tutorials we are going to look at the clipboard group in Microsoft Word. The clipboard is a portion or a medium in Microsoft Word that keeps copied and cut items which you can paste it in other location and this clipboard group is located under the home tab and under the home tab we have this clipboard group and in this clipboard group we have the we have different commands which are the paste we have the cut command we have the copy command we have the format painter and and all these commands in the clipboard group we are going to manipulate them in this tutorials now the clipboard has a tax pin and how can you activate the tax pin you can only activate the tax pin of the clipboard by clicking on this drop down arrow which is called a dialog box launcher so when i have a once click on this drop down arrow it's going to open the clipboard tax pin and in the pin we have nothing copied or cut so the information that is being displayed or viewed to us is click an item to paste clipboard empty copy or cut to collect items so this tax pin is ready to collect items that are copied or items that are cut within this uh, document or items that are copied or cut from any browser open on your computer desktop and this clipboard has has been limited to number of 24 items so this clipboard can contain number of copy or cut items that is 24 items so today we are going to uh, learn how to use this clipboard group and all the commands on the clipboard now the cuts and the copy items are inactive or they are deactivated to activate these commands you have to select a content or to select an item in this uh, microsoft word uh, window now we have content in this so we are going to insert some text and some shapes and then try to use all the commands in the clipboard group and let's see how the clipboard tax pin also work so i'm going to insert a random test now i have this text inserted into my word document i also want to insert some shape so let's go to the insert tab let's click on shapes and draw a rectangle okay now emphasize on the clipboard group you can see that the cut and the copied item are deactivated if i select a text and move back to this clipboard group you see that the cut command is activated and the copied command is also activated we are going to start with the copy command the copy command helps you to make a duplicate of an item and you have an additional item whilst the original item is also available so when you put your mouse pointer on the copy command you have the keyboard shortcut as ctrl c so to copy this selected item you can hold the ctrl c or you can have a once click on this copy command and what you see now is you will see this selected item copied into the tax pin of the clipboard and now you can see we have the uh, 
test shown in this pin therefore if i want to paste this into a different location i can select this area then i come to the task pin click on this drop down arrow and i have two options to paste or to delete and in these tutorials we are going to paste so the moment i click on paste you will see that the item that i copy from this section is also pasted here and we have the exact information as we selected here so the copy command makes duplicate of item but still keeps the original item so this is the first uh, method of copying information to also copy an information you can select right click on the selected item and you have these options and the first option is the cut and the second option is the copy when i click on copy you will see that this selected item has been shown in the tax pin and one thing about the clipboard group it always keep the copy items in systematic order the current ones begins and the, the old copied items go below the uh, other items so you can see that now the item that i copied in this document is pasted here therefore i can go here select a location click on it once or i can click on this drop arrow and choose the paste command i can also choose the paste command from this section and still you can paste and paste and paste click on paste you can choose any of the options you can also right click and choose the paste from this section and you can paste any copied item into your documents area so that is the uh, power of the clipboard and also the power of the copy command now we are going to uh, use the cut option now i want to select all these tests then i move to my clipboard then choose this cut option what you see is the cut item that we uh, we just operated has been shown in the tax pin of the clipboard group and that is the first item in the clipboard tax pin therefore if i want to paste this into a different location i can select the location then come to the tax pin of the clipboard group and have a once click on it and you can see that it has pasted the cut item into where the cursor was blinking you can also click on this drop down arrow and choose paste from this option and you're going to have the cut item pasted you can also move to the, the clipboard group click on the drop down arrow and choose paste and you're going to have it and another way to do so to right click and choose paste and you can also use your keyboard key and you can also use your keyboard shortcut key control plus v is also going to paste paste and this is the power of the clipboard uh, portion and also the commands on the, the clipboard group so we are we have manipulated the copy and a cut item as well as the, the paste option to cut them using this keyboard shortcut you select you can use control plus x and it's going to cut the item and let's assume we want to paste it here control plus v we are going to paste this is not implies to only text you can also use shapes to do that so let's select this shape and choose copy here you will see that the shape is being shown in the tax pin the clipboard and we can also copy this paste this shape into our document by clicking on paste and you can see we have it here you can select an area paste select right click paste you can select this side control plus v paste and you can paste you can copy an audio file a video file a, a test file an image file and you can use your, your copy cut paste command to paste them and you are going to have all the copy and the cut items still shown in the tax pin the clipboard and this clipboard as earlier i said can contain the maximum number of 24 items so you can continue to copy and paste and this uh, copied and cut item found here can be seen in other microsoft office uh,
programs so if i open powerpoint if i open powerpoint and then powerpoint also have the clipboard group when i click on this dialog box launcher i'm going to see all these copy items reflecting in the tax pin and i can paste this into this slide area and you can see that we have this uh pasted item here the item that we copied in microsoft word is now found in uh, powerpoint we can also open excel And also Excel has the clipboard group. When I click on a drop down, I have all this and I can even paste the shape. You can see that we have the shape here. We can paste this and we have it here. So the clipboard works uh, in all the Microsoft Office programs. And we can, let's close this. We can go to the internet and search for an information i want this information i'll select and choose copy let me go back to microsoft word you can see that i have this copied item here and i can paste it click on paste and we have the information that we copied from the internet or within our browser and we have it here so the clipboard is a powerful tool which every microsoft word user must have a hand on it and it's very useful and it helps you uh, paste all copied items for you not manually copying and pasting using the control c and the control v uh, right clicking and choosing paste always copy all your items into your labor group and just come into your word document and start pasting them one by one so that is so this is the power of the clipboard group and the last command i am going to talk about is this command called the format painter the function of this format painter is let's try to format this test let's choose uh, this font let's reduce the size let's give a color to a blue color now i have formatted this particular selected text. if i want to have the same effect to this text what i'll do is i'll select this text then go to this format painter and have a once click on it now the cursor is going to change into a brush symbol so when i select all these tests what happens is the formatting type given to this test is also going to affect this one for me not going for me not selecting all these tests and going through the uh, process of changing the font type the font size the font color i can just apply the formatting to a particular test select it and use this format painter and select all the tests that want i want them to have the same formatting in my word document so this is how the clipboard portion works in microsoft word and other microsoft office programs and the, the clipboard contain the cut the copy format printer and the paste and this is the tax pane of the clipboard you can also we have two options here we have the paste or and the clear or if i choose a different location i click on paste or it's going to paste all the information for me and i can also clear all from the tax pin so that i empty the clipboard so this is how the clipboard works in microsoft word and this is the end of the tutorials this video was helpful to you if so give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content in the future see you in the next tutorials